Thanks for listening to Jim, Deb, and Kevin, three hometown Hoosiers, and now 2022 CMA Award winners. 95.5 WFMS. Jim, Deb, and Kevin, good morning. It's a, it's a Thursday morning. It is a Thursday. Moving right through the week here, getting yep. closer and closer to the uh, to Christmas time. Mm-hmm. Well, I guess it's kind of Christmas time now. It's just not I the, think it's here now. It's a big date, yeah. By the way, I finished up some of my lighting. Uh, oh, I was going to ask you. Oh, yeah. you did? Well, actually, Andrea did it all. I just had to find the ex- additional um, extension cord. cords, so yeah. I got those. So yeah. You came in here, the one that used to be hooked up to our old coffee maker. <laughs> yeah, that, that I brought. That's from home. That's my yeah. our extension cord. Mm-hmm. And we went looking for it, and it was like, oh, yeah, I got it at the station. So there. We weren't using that coffee maker anymore, so I took it home. Well. So there we go. <laughs> so you're all set. All now our lights Christmas are... lights are lit. <laughs> and by the way, Andrea doesn't like them. She's like, I don't are think I kidding? like them now. Oh. Really? Oh. Got to change them. 95.5 WFMS on a Thursday morning with Jim, Dab, and Kevin. How about a little good news? How about this? See, uh, I don't know if you saw this in the news. But a pack of coyotes attacked a flock of sheep in Georgia last mm-hmm. month. Did you see about this? I did. But a sheepdog named Casper found uh, fed, fought off all the, uh, all the coyotes. Yeah. And in the process, took down eight coyotes himself. How about that? Uh, now people have donated over fifteen thousand dollars to cover the dog's vet bills. He, the dog's going to dog be was okay. Injured, but going to be okay. Aww. Yeah, it's going to be okay. But he saved the sheep, which is what his job yeah. was to do. Sure. And took down eight coyote all by himself. I'd say it's a good dog. Yeah. No kidding. <laughs> Speaking of dogs, a one-eared dog named Van Gogh, Van Gogh. <laughs> okay. is, is a raising money for a charity by painting with his tongue. What? Uh, the head of the rescue place in Connecticut, where uh, it originated, was going to use the painting as an idea, as a gimmick to get the dog adopted. The dog has one ear. Mm-hmm. He thought, hey, I'll have him paint a picture. I'll put this on our social media page. We'll adopt yeah. the dog. Well... Sure. It took off. The dog did 60 paintings and has raised over $3,000 wow. for the uh, local shelter. And so they're going to keep the dog and he's going to paint. Keep on I painting. I what these paintings look like. Van Gogh, the right. dog. He was actually a um, a dog that was in uh, animal dog fights and was rescued oh. from that and lost the, oh, the wow. ear because of that. So. 95.5 WFMS on a Thursday morning, December the 8th. Count them down. Your shopping days. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Get it all in. A-, a couple of weeks ago, Jim announced that he was going to be... Uh, Starting his shopping, Christmas shopping. Right, and you were in And there. I looked at you like, who are you and what have you done with Jimmy? Because <laughs> right. it's been well established over the years. Jim has waited to the very last minute, sometimes, many times, Christmas Eve to purchase gifts. But he informed me yesterday that he's nearly done with his shopping. I am nearly done. He only has, I mean, I don't understand why people brag about this, Mm -hmm. of the male gender. (laughs) Because you buy for one person. You act like that's a feat of some sort. I'm I'm, I'm buying for 14 people over here. Regardless of the amount of gifts, the number of gifts, the fact that he's almost got that done for one nor- person when he normally waits till Christmas Eve to do it, mm-hmm. I think he, he deserves a, a big, pat on the back. It's not well, a I think big so too. feat. You've done online <laughs> shopping from his couch and his underwear. How hard is this? How do you know it's from his underwear? Well, I'm uh, just knowing it's Jim. I have to shut the blinds for now. <laughs> <laughs> We're about to get a look at the house here. I'm huh? not wow. outside looking in. Wow. Thank you, or I would be traumatized <laughs> and would need some online yeah. therapy. Anyway, so you are. What one gift away? I'm, two I'm gifts one, away. Uh, there's uh, one more that needs to be d- delivered, and I'm yeah. waiting for it. It looks like it may come in uh, today. Whoa, 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 whoa! Dude, can I also throw in? Uh-huh. I helped him with one of these gifts. You know what? You okay? You, well, I mean, what, what, you know what? Dad's got to get credit. The... Someone no. has a self-image no. problem. No, I didn't. <laughs> like, I was there too. Right. It's like, okay. I'm just saying, quit the pats on the back for old Jimbo right, over here. Give him over wow. for me. I need. I don't need. Put the spotlight on me. No. That is not true. Here's a question. But I'm saying, let's be real. It's not real difficult. <laughs> it's a step forward, Deb. Oh, for it's crying. It's a step forward. Now, you know what? Are it's these, not the two-minute warning. Did you do the trick that Deb taught me is that you can actually order the gifts to be gift-wrapped? Yes. So they come is, gift-wrapped. The one wrapped. that's coming today. Spotlight on is me! Gonna be you, but I did it. I'm not Kevin. <laughs> oh. No, I gave you credit. I, I said, was you using your words. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, okay. but anyway. anyway okay, yeah. well, anyway, congratulations. I'm not helping you guys with gifts ever again. Deb's got your daily dirt, and Cardi B says, don't do it. Yeah, I think I'm going to listen to her on this one. Okay. Uh, We'll share coming up in about 30 seconds. First, I'm bummed for Trace Adkins. Fox canceled the country music drama Monarch after just one season. Oh, really? And I mean, he's a wonderful actor. Yeah, I did. be honest with you, I never watched it, so I didn't support it. (laughs) Nobody Um, else did, I guess. (laughs) Thanks, Kevin, because now it's canceled (laughs) because you didn't watch it. It's all my fault, sorry. (laughs) But maybe he'll bounce back with something Oh, yeah, he's fine. He's a talent. Kane Brown, Kelly Clarkson, One Republic, and Adam Lambert are just a few of the people who will be performing on next week's 
season finale of The Voice. It's a good one. That's next week It's a good one. There's a lot of folks on there. I've been watching it. Yeah. Who could be. The ones voted off recently could be big time That's exactly right. It just It's kind of a popularity contest, yeah. really. Uh, but they're all talented. And, of course, if you're worried about, you know, not seeing Blake much longer, he's still on for one more season. He announced yeah, okay. that next season will be his, right. his last. Cardi B says if you're considering plastic surgery, she has some advice. First, she says you need to do your research. She also says um, she had her butt implants removed back in August. Excuse me? Butt implants. And apparently, um, she uses a different word, but I'll use the word butt. Uh, they're butt shots. And she says she got hers uh, illegally in a basement back in 2014. Huh. And it was to plump up her rump. <laughs> um, she First of all, if you don't like shots, why would you a- ask for those? I mean, right. why would you want shots in your backside more than once. Anyway. I uh, hang around with a totally different group of people. Me too. So yeah, she, we, that's not ever really been a concern. She tried to fatten it up back there. Okay. And so well, she's now she had her. us around to eat like we do. She's <laughs> fine, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, when you say we, are you including me? No, Deborah, you better no, not I'm be. About, like Kevin and I. Okay, well, whatever. She thought she was too skinny at one point and wanted to thicken things up, and now she's had them removed. She said she she didn't go about it the right way. Do your research. Don't follow do you, in her do footsteps. Do you recycle those? What could you use them for now? Well, that's a good question. They'd be, be like uh, trivets. Bring out and put a hot pad on it or oh, something? Oh, that's a good idea. Maybe. Yeah, just stick from your rear to your kitchen. That's just wonderful. I'm all about recycling. Yeah, yeah. especially during the holiday season. Right. What a great idea. Bring gifting. Here you go. Yeah. See that's that mac plan. and cheese sitting over there? That used to be my butt. 727, that's Deb's Daily Dirt. It's time for another out of Can't Be Deb, and our contestant on the line is Lisa. Hi, Lisa. Hi. Lisa, how what's you guys that? doing? We're, we're doing good. How about you? I'm doing great. What side town are you from? I'm in Greenfield. In beautiful Greenfield. Oh, Hancock okay. County, smart people. That's right. Well, here's how we yeah. play, Lisa. We're going to ask you five questions. And, of course, we asked Deb those exact same five questions. If you get more right than Deb, yay, you win. But if she gets more right than you or if she ties you, then she wins. And if you're ready, let's start with question number one. All right, here we go. Question one. Sadly, actress Kirstie Alley passed away earlier this week. What was the name of the bar in the TV show Cheers? I watched that show. Uh, I don't know. I can't think of it. Question two. The most Googled artists of 2022 are Taylor Swift, Harry Styles, and Kanye West. Now, of these three, who is the shortest? I'm going to say Kanye West. All right, question three. Dolly Parton is now a member of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Now, Dolly says to relax, she likes to go fishing finger paint, or whittle small toys out of wood? Fishing. All right, question four. KFC is testing funnel cake fries. Now, if in the military, who would be the highest-ranking spokesperson? Would it be Colonel Sanders or Captain Crunch? Uh, Colonel Sanders. And question five. The average person thinks they could survive 16 days in the wilderness. Now, what state is known as the last frontier? Alaska. There's our five questions. Let's bring Deb back in the room and see how she does. It's back to Can't Beat Deb, and Deb's back in the studio here. Say hello to Lisa. Hi, Lisa. What do you think? Hi, Kate? Deb. I think Lisa did a pretty good job. Yeah, she did really good. Yeah. 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 Oh, well, you know what? That Okay, well, I think I'll pretty, do pretty good. Okay. All right. Well, let's just see. All right. Question one. Sadly, actress Kirstie Alley passed away earlier this week. What was the name of the bar in the TV show Cheers? Wasn't the bar called Cheers? The bar was Cheers and the show called Cheers. Let's see. Everybody knows your name, mm-hmm. and everybody's so glad you came. Cheers. I hate you. That's correct. <laughs> I knew you were doing this. Uh, sadly, Lisa couldn't come up with the name. That's uh, Lisa, the bar's fair. name was Cheers. Uh, anyway, Deb gets the point, fair. so it's uh, Deb one, Lisa zero. I feel bad for Lisa because that's not fair. That was kind of a tough one, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> Question two. The most Googled artists of 2022 are Taylor Swift, Harry Styles, and Kanye West. Now, of those three, who is the shortest? Oh, gosh. Uh, well, it's not Taylor Swift. Um so between Harry and Kanye West, I don't think Kanye is very tall. I'll say him. You'd be right. And so is Lisa. Yeah, Conway is 5'8", Taylor is 5'11", and Harry Styles is the tallest. He's a six foot. Oh, he's taller than Taylor. Oh, yeah, okay. So everybody scores. It's Deb 2, Lisa 1. All right, here we go. Question 3. Dolly Parton is now a member of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Now, Dolly says to relax, she likes to go fishing, finger paint, or whittle small toys out of wood? Oh, jeez. 
she likes to she likes to finger paint. That was probably a not with those fingernails. She's <laughs> oh, not yeah, doing probably any not. Uh, Lisa got it right. It's fishing. fishing she loves to fish. Okay. So Lisa gets the point. We are now tied. Uh. It's Deb two, Lisa two. Question four: KFC is testing funnel cake fries. Now, if in the military, who would be the highest ranking spokesperson? Would it be Colonel Sanders or Captain Crunch? A colonel or a captain? Oh, geez. Um, I think a colonel. You'd be right. And so was Lisa. So everybody scores. It's Deb three, Lisa three. Good right. game going down. Right. Is, this, is this the last one? Final question, question five. Oh, geez. The average person thinks they could survive 16 days in the wilderness. Now, what state is known as the last frontier? You said last frontier. The last who, frontier. Last, uh, I don't know. A wilderness state? Um, hmm. Last frontier. What so state? Somebody needs to just implant this in my brain. If Jim keeps repeating it, does that help? <laughs> no, and it actually, that gets on my nerves. The last frontier. Oh, stop. I heard you. It sounds like you're saying it wrong, but I'm going to let that slide. Um, isn't it frontier? Not frontier. It's the last right? frontier. Well, whatever. What okay. state is it? Uh, is it Dakota? North Dakota. I knew it was wrong. It's Alaska. Oh, shoot. And Lisa ah! knew that. So she oh, gets the point. It's no. Deb three. Well, you know what? Lisa four. Lisa, no. you just Yay. beat Deb. I would have gotten it right if you would have said last frontier, <laughs> not frontier. The you, last it, frontier it, is the British version of well, that. Well, we're not in Britain. <laughs> Lisa, you just last beat Deb. Last frontier. Yay, and I beat my husband, too. So yay. <laughs> well, congratulations. It's time for those famous words. I'm Lisa from Greenfield, and I can beat Deb. If you would like to be a contestant, just go to our website, WFMS.com. We'll get you all signed up for The Last Frontier. I know, it's Frontier. (laughs) Can't beat Deb. 95.5 WFMS. Jim, Deb, and Kevin. Kevin's got your Nash news now. Tis the season for giving. Just ask George Strait. Yeah, for giving, not for giving. Mm -hmm. For for giving gifts. But anyway, yeah, it's coming up. Or for giving. Um, Both. Okay, uh, that's coming in about 30 seconds. Nash News now sponsored by One Hour Heating and Cooling. Eric Church and Morgan Wallen were seen hanging out with Eli Manning and PGA champ Justin Thomas. Oh, really? At a oh, restaurant wow. in New York City. What are they talking about? Wow. Interesting that's conversation. Kind of a group, 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 maybe interesting maybe group Eli was asking uh, Morgan about his mullet. Could be. Because he wants to grow one as well. Could, could, could be. be, yeah. Leanne Rimes <laughs> had to reschedule a few shows because of... Vocal cord bleed. Oof. That's what's called a vocal That's cord bleed. Painful to say. I know. It's when she said that, that she had the flu and had a violent cough that went with it. Oh, and gosh. it caused the damage. Maybe that's what I've got. Maybe it is, because yours has been <clears throat> a, a two weeks now, hasn't it? Yeah. yeah. By the way, your holiday tour is rescheduled for the 16th of this month. They're going to get them all in okay. before the holidays. So it's uh, it's the giving season. Just ask George Strait, who gave away a house. Wow. Yeah, house? he presented the gift to a former U.S. Army surgeon oh, wow. and Purple Heart recipient during a concert in Las Vegas last Friday. The Military Warriors Support Foundation also helped to make the gift possible. That's so, cool. Very nice. Yeah. Thank you, George Strait, for doing good Generous. stuff. Generous. That's your Nash News Now. Congrats to Jim, Deb, and Kevin. Proud to be part of your morning routine and now 2022 CMA Award winners. It brightens my day. 95.5 WFMS.